We are in the 207 Kitchen at Omain Studios. I am with Ellie Allen. She is the chef on the Merry Day Schooner, which is part of the Windjammers Association. And uh, what are we making today? Today we're going to be making sausage and spinach big stuffed oysters. Okay. Uh, so this is a big hit. We try to highlight the fact that like we're going out to sea, so we're going to use a lot of seafood when we're out. Right. Um, these are local oysters. These are from West Gag Farm in South Thomaston. So as much as the, we can, the, every, all the boats on the Windjammers try to use as much local food as we possibly can. So these oysters are from there. They're That's super, great. super fresh. They're like some of the sweetest oysters I've ever had. South Thomaston knows how to do oysters, apparently. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our sausage cooking down. All right. So this is going to start to release the fat out of there. And we're going to use that to cook the rest of what we're doing. And can you just use like your favorite sausage or? Whatever kind of sausage you have on hand. So like okay. sometimes I do this with bratwurst. Today we're using sweet Italian sausage. Um, but we've had leftover bratwurst before that we use. We had all kinds of things we use. Tabasa, chorizo. The chorizo is really nice. Yeah, I bet. Want to get that nice and brown, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of color on this. Um, best way to do it is like on a direct flame. Okay. Um, but we don't have a wood stove here in the studio. So. That's what you usually work with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, we do all our cooking on a 120-year-old antique wood-fired stove. It's uh, it's kind of a monster, but she makes the best food. And it tastes. It's so good. You get a little bit of smokiness in everything, but not like to the point that it's offensive. It's pretty awesome. Right. So our sausage is working there. We're going to cut up some garlic. All right, that would have taken me like five minutes, but you just did in five seconds. When we're cooking for 40 people, yeah. we got to be a little bit on the quick side. So there's a lot of food to go out. We feed everybody four times a day. So the next thing that goes in is going to be our spinach. And we don't want to cook this too hard. We're just going to let it wilt. OK. So not until the point that it's all starting to sweat out and lose its juice, Yep. but enough that it's soft and we can work with it. A little bit of salt and pepper oh, in here. That smells so good. So you see it's just started to wilt down. And that's yep. going to go in on top of our cream cheese. All and right. that'll soften our cream cheese while we're shucking these oysters. Perfect. So uh, always make sure that you have a towel for safety when you're shucking oysters. You oh. don't want to poke your hand. Right. So there's a little joint right here at the back of the shell. OK. And we're going to put the point of our oyster knife into there. And kind of work it around a little bit. And you can feel a spot. And it goes in. Okay. And give it a little twist. And then it pops right off. And you run a knife along the top, around the bottom. And we're going to spool these up on a foil lined sheet pan so we're not going to make a mess in our oven. All right, so our oysters are shucked and our cream cheese should be soft enough to work with at this point. We're just going to beat this together. Use a wooden spoon, you can use a rubber spatula or whatever you got. Mix it all up. And is this another fan favorite for you guys? This is, I was specifically asked to make this so that really? our captain could have some yesterday <laughs> during, during our prep session. So they this, love is a, it. this is a favorite. All right, and then we're just gonna take a little bit of this and stuff it into the oysters. Right on top. And then just go into our oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then come out, leave them in there until they're about golden brown and starting to crisp up on the outside and they're ready to go. Okay. Make it look pretty so that when you walk them around, eat with your eyes first, right? Right. Yeah, this looks great. Little lemon, little parsley. And you're having lunch. Oh, that is awesome. We'll have this recipe, uh, all the steps, all of that right on the 207 section of our website. We'll be right back.